when the students graduate this program, to in order to work as an x-ray technologist, you have to pass a national board exam that is given by the ARRT, and that's American Registry of Radiologic Technologists. That exam nation is a nationwide exam, so no matter where you wanna work in the country, you have to take that exam. So when the students graduate this program, the past four years consecutive, we have had every single student pass that board exam on the first attempt. So we've had 100% pass rate, first try, um, for four years in a row. I enjoy helping people, finding out what's going on with them. Everything's a challenge, every patient's different. You can learn from the book all day long, but not every patient is a textbook patient. There's a lot of thinking in the job. You've got to get different equipment for each patient. Try to figure out how you're going to get this picture done. You think that you're just going to do a picture of the knee and it's going to be simple, but then this patient can't walk or can't really get up or can't bend the knee. So it's a lot of thinking. So our program is a five semester program. So it's 21 months. So it's like two school years plus the summer in the middle. During those five semesters, we take three different procedures courses where we actually learn different body parts and how to position them in their anatomy and what the x-ray should look like. And they also have to take a um, image production course is what we call it. It's kind of learning about the technical factors behind it. Um, and then we also have to take some physics courses, which are fun. Um, we have to do some physics courses where we actually learn about how our x-ray machine works. So how our generator works, how our tube works, you know how the x-rays are made. So there's a lot more that goes into it than people think. They have a lot of information they have to learn. So the classroom size is smaller. So we do get more time with our teacher, especially like in lab. We can be in here to practice on our own, but there's always an instructor close by if we need them. So our program is very fortunate. We have multiple full body phantoms and partial phantoms. We're very fortunate we just got our DR upgrade to full digital imaging, which is amazing because that's the technology the students are going to see in the clinical setting. Our program has a total of 11 clinical sites that we use, and the majority of those are hospitals, but we do have two outpatient facilities as well. Um, but we don't just use Codwell County. We also use Watauga County and Burke Counties, even Catawba County. So we, we have a pretty wide reach with our clinicals. And in the clinical setting, they work one-on-one -on -one with a technologist. And even from the first semester, they are in on patient procedures. So they get hands-on experience. You get to work with patients as opposed to working with mannequins. You have people that can also talk back to you, tell you when you're doing something wrong. Also patients, not just <laughs> instructors or co-workers. My favorite part of the program has been clinicals. I really enjoyed the patient interaction that you get and taking your knowledge that you learn in school and taking it to clinical and actually putting it into action. To me personally, I love the clinical time. That's where you, that's your bread and butter. That's where you kind of get all the nervousness out. You're exposed to I mean, everything, not just the operating room. I mean, you're exposed to patients dealing with different types of situations. So it really hones in on your critical thinking skills. I think this will help a lot just because I have real experience with real patients and patient care. Um, we do several patients a day and it's just not pictures. You're also um, professionally attired and how you work well with others. Um, I clock in and I treat it as a job as anybody would. And it just gives me that responsibility that I'm going to need to have when I do get a real job. First thing you have to, you know, you have to make sure you're treating them properly. That's the main thing. I'm working with people, I mean, helping people, I should say. Not working with people, but helping people. You know, there again, patient care, that's the key word in this job, I think. Every year we accept 16 students, um, but it is a competitive admissions program, meaning you have to complete an application that goes off of multiple, your GPA, um, different aptitude tests along the way. And then they get ranked based off their scores and the top 16 get in and then the rest go on a wait list in order of their scores. I've noticed this program compared to other programs, I've heard the tech say that they always want students from this program. A lot of techs that are in the field at the clinical sites that we're at have graduated from this program and think highly of it. 